bunnies can learn to use the litter box just like a cat. However, you can't use regular cat litter, you have to use bunny safe litter. I've been using paper pellets for the bunnies for a while now, but it's kind of pricey because they go through it really quickly. So a lot of people recommended these pine pellets from Tractor Supply. A lot of people use it for their small pets and they've been doing it for a long time. At first I was like, wait a second, pine isn't good for bunnies because of the phenols that are in it. After a little bit of research, I found that the bedding is kiln dried, which supposedly takes out the phenols so it makes it safe. I was like, heck yeah, let's go get some and if it works well for the bunnies, we'll switch to that. Uh, we've been using it for almost a week now and it smells really strong. I mean, I love the smell. I think it smells so good, but it's strong. If you watch the video that this comment is from, when Sully first smelled it, he kicked his feet and ran away. So I started thinking to myself, gosh, this does smell really strong, especially for a tiny little bunny like Sully. Now, granted, I did put way too much litter in when I first put it in there, but even after the fact, when I used less, it still smelled so strong. I started doing a little bit more research on my little computer and found that kiln dry pine doesn't really take the phenols out of it. Now I'm not a wood expert. I can't explain to you the ends and outs of kiln drying, but apparently it only removes the moisture from the wood, not the phenols. So some people say. Me being the crazy bunny mom that I am, I was immediately worried and now I don't know how to feel about the pine bedding. Phenols are naturally occurring compounds that are found in woods and they're commonly used for cleaning products like pine sol. The bottom line is that they're just not safe for pets whether they're inhaled or ingested, which brings me to my next point. Whether you have a hay rack or not for your bunny's hay, they're probably going to end up pulling some of it down and eating it from the litter box itself. When the pellets get wet, when they're peed on, they expand into this powder. And now they're eating their hay on top of this powdery pine that could very easily be ingested. I'm not saying any of this to try to change what anyone's already doing because I heard from so many people who said that they love this litter and they've been using it forever. That's great if it works for you and I really wanted to love it, but I am going to stick with our paper litter that we were using before. 